Welcome to the OSBT Standard Operating Procedure 039, People Transport Employee Education. People Transport, the purpose. The purpose of this program is to establish policies and procedures to help ensure that drivers operate vehicles safely to reduce the potential for accidents which can result in injuries to employees or others and property damage. Employees who drive personal vehicles on company business are generally expected to meet these requirements as well. Driver Responsibilities Operate of the vehicle in a manner consistent with reasonable practices that avoid abuse, theft, neglect, or disrespect of the equipment. Obey all traffic laws. The use of seat belts and shoulder harness is mandatory for driver and passengers. Adhering to manufacturer's recommendations regarding service, maintenance, and inspection. Vehicles should not be operated with any de defect that would prevent safe operation. Attention to and practice of safe driving techniques and adherence to current safety requirements. Restricting the use of vehicles to authorized drivers, spouse, or significant other. Reporting the occurrence of moving violations. Accurate, comprehensive, and timely reporting of all accidents by an authorized driver and thefts of a company vehicle to the company by calling 866-333-3475 or a supervisor or member of management. Drivers should be well trained and experienced. Rest well. Fatigue can affect driving and response time. Inspect the vehicle before every trip, especially the tires. Okay. Driver responsibilities continued. Vehicle weight should never exceed the gross vehicle weight rating. Ensure all passengers are buckled up and side mirrors are adjusted. Replace old tires. Check the vehicle's owner manual for correct size. Be aware of hazards, bad weather, difficult road conditions, poor light or glare, heavy traffic, road work, accidents. Safety is first. Avoid these driving hazards. Distract the driving, one text or call could wreck it all. Reckless driving, fatigue, failure to keep vehicles in good operating condition, driving under the influence, overloaded vehicle, make sure cargo is properly secured. Be certain your vision is not blocked. Passenger responsibilities. Full-size vans are those manufactured, designed for two or more occupants, including the driver. Always ensure vehicle headlights on to be seen by the traffic. Perform pre-trip inspections and notify appropriate person of any vehicle defects. Always clean snow, ice, and frost from all windows. Secure any loose items within the vehicle so they do not cause injuries in the crash. This includes trash that can interfere with the pedals or the operation of the vehicle. Know the evacuation policy. Must wear seat belts at all times. Adhere to the terms of this policy at all times. Should not use interior lighting when the van is in transit. Passengers should sit toward the front of the vehicle and be distributed evenly from side to side. Must wear seat belts at all time. Ensure all doors are locked and passengers are secured in the appropriate seating position and seat belt. Driver selection. Only drivers authorized by the company may drive a company vehicle. Employees who do not usually drive a company vehicle may be authorized to do so by the fleet coordinator or his or her 
designee. Certain vehicles may be driven home after work as de designated by the fleet coordinator. If married spouses, which may or may not drive these company vehicles when not needed for company use, children of employees may not drive company vehicles. Safety rules. Drivers must abide by all local, state, and federal traffic laws. Devices sold to detect police speed checking devices are not allowed. Drivers must not operate a company vehicle if ability is impaired by any prescribed or not prescribed medications, alcohol, illicit drugs, fatigue, illness, or injury. Employees who are taking any drug that recommends that the employee not operate machinery or may cause drowsiness may not operate a vehicle for business use. Employees are encouraged to consult their supervisor on this issue. Safety rules continue. Drivers and passengers, if any, must properly use belt restraint systems in all cases. In the case of company vehicles equipped with either company-owned or personally-owned mobile, telephones, or radios, drivers should pull off the road to a safe area. Road shoulders generally are not safe areas compared to a rest area or parking lot, for example. Employee drivers may not pick up hitchhikers or any other unauthorized passengers or riders. Driver qualification. Drivers of company vehicles on public streets and highways must be of age 21 or over. Drivers of company vehicles must possess a current and valid operator's license for the class of vehicle being operated. Drivers of company vehicles must have at least one year of experience in operating the class of vehicle to be operated. The driving records of drivers, moving violations and accidents of company vehicles must be acceptable. Road tests will be given in the case of applicants who will drive certain vehicles. Vehicle use. Drivers may use designated vehicles for personal use after business hours, reimbursing the company for miles driven per the method adopted by the company. Company vehicles may not be, may not be used to tow trailers or push or pull other vehicles. Items may not be transported on top of vehicles. Drivers may not pick up hitchhikers or any other unauthorized passengers. Vehicle use continued. Maintain a cushion of safety around the vehicle. No traffic on all sides. Drive in the right lane, right hand lane whenever possible. Stay well behind larger commercial vehicles so you can see around them for potential hazards. When following in traffic, if you cannot see the other vehicle's mirrors, you may be in their blind spot. Avoid doing so. Know the no zones. Don't get caught in wide rain, wide right hand turns. Adjust mirrors so that so that the you can barely see the edge of the van in the mirror. When changing lanes, always check for blind spots by first leaning forward in your seat to change your sight angle and then by turning your head. Scan mirrors every three to five seconds. Do not exceed 60 miles per hour at any time. Vehicle maintenance and inspection. Assigned drivers are expected to provide preventive maintenance that meets or exceeds the manufacturer's recommendations. A preventative maintenance and repair log shall be maintained. The assigned driver will inspect his vehicle using the designated checklist. The frequency of the inspection varies with the type of vehicle. Vehicle safety equipment. Designated vehicles will be equipped with three reflective triangles to be used in case of breakdown on the road. Designated vehicles will be equipped with fire, 
extinguishers. Accident reporting and investigation. In case of an accident, the driver, if capable, should move the vehicle out of harm's way, if operable. If practical, arrange at once to warn other traffic. Aid anyone injured. Exchange information, name, address, telephone number, vehicle identification number, and driver license number with anyone else involved in the accident. Accident reporting and investigation. Obtain name and telephone number of any witnesses. Report the accident to authorities if required. The driver and his or her supervisor will investigate the accident to determine cause and preventive action used in designated form. This concludes People Transport Training. Please copy and paste the test link into your browser and begin the quiz.